The James Webb Space Telescope launched on December 25th, 2021. Just a few weeks later, it reached its orbit nearly a million miles from Earth, and by February 2022, it began sending back its first test images. Then, in July 2022, Webb revealed its first full-color science photo to the world. Since then, it has captured thousands of breathtaking views of the cosmos, and it's still by far the most powerful space telescope ever built. In this video, we'll explore some of the most stunning images ever taken by JWST and uncover the science hiding behind their beauty. Before we dive into the images, it's worth understanding what makes the James Webb Space Telescope so revolutionary and how it compares to the telescope that came before it. For over three decades, the Hubble Space Telescope shaped our view of the universe. Launched in 1990, it brought us iconic images of galaxies, nebulae, and deep space. But it was limited to visible and ultraviolet light, which meant it couldn't always see through the cosmic dust that hides so much of the universe. James Webb changed that. Instead of replacing Hubble, it complements and surpasses it, designed to observe the universe in infrared light, a type of light invisible to human eyes. This allows Webb to peer through dense clouds of gas and dust, revealing stars and galaxies that were once completely hidden. But the difference isn't just in the type of light Webb sees, it's in power. Its massive gold-coated mirror is over six times larger in area than Hubble's, allowing it to gather much more light. The result? Sharper resolution, deeper views, and an unprecedented ability to spot distant, faint objects. And then there's their location. Hubble orbits just 550 kilometers above Earth, close enough for astronauts to service it. But Webb orbits the Sun nearly 1.5 million kilometers away at a stable position called the second second Lagrange point, or L2. That extreme distance keeps Webb cold, stable, and undisturbed, but also far beyond the reach of repairs. And when you put all of Webb's strengths together, the infrared vision, the larger mirror, and its stable deep space position, you get results that speak for themselves. Take one of the most iconic regions in the sky, the Pillars of Creation. Hubble made them famous with its 1995 image, showing towering clouds of gas and dust silhouetted against the glowing light behind them. The scene became legendary, but much of what lay inside those pillars remained hidden. Now look at Webb's version. With its infrared eyes and sharper resolution, the dust becomes almost translucent. Dozens of newborn stars shine through. The structure of the gas is revealed in rich, intricate detail, and even the once empty background is filled with distant galaxies. It's not just a prettier image, it's a deeper one, packed with information. But before the breathtaking science images, Webb's mission began with a single bright star, HD 84406. This was its first alignment target, used to fine-tune the positions of all 18 mirror segments into a single unified surface. What you see here isn't meant to impress with beauty, but with precision. The sharp, bright point in the center confirms that Webb's optics were working exactly as designed. Around it, a few faint background stars appear, but this image was never about deep space. It was about calibration. And with this success, Webb was ready to begin what it was built for, looking deeper into the universe than ever before. On July 11th, 2022, Webb finally showed the world what it could really do. This was SMACS0723, Webb's first full-color science image and the deepest infrared view of the universe ever captured at the time. What you're seeing is a massive galaxy cluster in the foreground, but thanks to its intense gravity, it acts like a magnifying glass, bending and amplifying the light from even more distant galaxies far behind it. This effect, called gravitational lensing, allows Webb to reveal galaxies we would never see otherwise. Some of the light captured here has traveled for over 13 billion years. In a patch of sky no larger than a grain of sand held at arm's length, Webb revealed thousands of galaxies, each one home to billions of stars. It was a historic moment and a promise of what was to come. Among the most striking of Webb's early images is the Southern Ring Nebula, located about 2,500 light years from Earth. It might look serene, but what you're seeing is the chaotic final act of a sun-like star. At the center lies a white dwarf, the collapsed core of the star, surrounded by shells of gas it ejected during its final breaths. For years, astronomers suspected there was a second star shaping the nebula's unusual shape. Hubble couldn't prove it, but JWST finally did. A faint companion star, now unmistakable, sits right beside the white dwarf. You're looking at a side-by-side -side comparison from Webb itself. The left image shows the nebula in near-infrared light. The right, mid-infrared. That small, bright point near the center in the right-hand image. That's the second star. It's much easier to spot in mid-infrared, where cooler dust becomes visible and stars stand out more clearly. 
One of the most breathtaking images captured by JWST so far is this, the Carina Nebula, specifically a region known as the Cosmic Cliffs. What looks like a glowing mountain range is actually a wall of gas and dust, about 7,600 light years from Earth, rising roughly 7 light years high, and hidden within it are some of the youngest stars in our galaxy, just beginning their lives. Webb's infrared vision peels away much of the surrounding dust, revealing hundreds of previously unseen stars. The image shows both the raw material for star formation and the powerful forces shaping it. Radiation and stellar winds from massive young stars are blowing away the gas, carving out cavities and triggering the next wave of star birth. Scientists study these regions to better understand how stars form, evolve, and shape the galaxies around them. But to truly understand where stars come from, we have to zoom in even closer to the very first moments of a star's life. This is L1527, a young protostar tucked inside a cloud of gas and dust in the Taurus star-forming region, about 460 light years from Earth. It might look like a glowing orange hourglass, but what you're really seeing is a star being born. At the center of the image, still hidden from direct view, is a protostar only about 100,000 years old, just a baby in stellar terms. It hasn't yet begun nuclear fusion, instead it's still gathering mass from the dense material around it. The bright lobes on either side aren't the star itself, they're cavities carved by jets of material being blasted away from the core. Light from the central protostar is scattering through those cavities, giving the object its glowing shape. And all of this structure, normally invisible to telescopes, is clearly revealed in infrared by JWST. Images like this allow astronomers to study how stars grow, how disks of dust evolve into planetary systems, and what our own sun might have looked like long before Earth existed. And while L1527 gives us a close-up of a single protostar, the Tarantula Nebula zooms out to show that this process is happening on a colossal scale. Located in the Large Magellanic Cloud, about 160,000 light-years away, the Tarantula Nebula is one of the most active star-forming regions in our local group of galaxies. Its size alone is staggering, over 1,000 light-years across, and it's home to some of the hottest, most massive stars we've ever observed. In this web image, towering ridges of gas appear carved by stellar winds and radiation. These aren't static clouds. They're being shaped in real time by the newborn stars hidden within them. Infrared light reveals structures that were once obscured, giving astronomers insight into the early stages of star cluster formation. The Tarantula Nebula shows stars in their infancy, blazing into life within vast clouds of gas. But every beginning has an end. This is Cassiopeia A, the aftermath of a massive star's death. Roughly 11,000 light years from Earth, this expanding cloud is all that remains of a star that exploded as a supernova about 340 years ago. For decades, astronomers studied it with telescopes like Hubble and Chandra, but with Webb's infrared vision, the remnant reveals hidden layers of gas and dust that were invisible before. Four. In this image, we see the ingredients for future stars and planets, elements like oxygen, calcium, and iron, being scattered into space. With Webb, scientists can study how supernova explosions unfold in incredible detail, how energy moves through space, how matter gets recycled, and how even destruction helps shape the universe. If Cassiopeia A shows us what happens after a supernova, WR124 lets us peer into the moments before. Roughly 15,000 light years away, WR124 is a Wolf Rayet star, a rare massive type nearing the end of its life. These stars burn hot and fast, shedding their outer layers in powerful winds long before they explode. What you see here is one of the most detailed views of that process ever captured. The star itself sits at the center, surrounded by a vast halo of gas and dust, more than 10 solar masses worth, blasted out into space. In visible light, much of this material is hard to see, but Webb's infrared vision pierces through it, revealing delicate tendrils and knots of dust that will one day become the raw material for new stars. What makes this image special is its timing. Stars like this spend only a tiny fraction of their lives in this unstable phase. It's a rare chance to witness stellar change as it's happening. This is Stefan's Quintet, a compact group of five galaxies locked in a gravitational dance. Four of them are truly interacting, tugging on each other, distorting their shapes, and triggering waves of star formation. Webb's view of this scene is the most detailed ever taken in infrared. You can see long tails of stars and gas stretching between the galaxies, evidence of past encounters. Shockwaves ripple through clouds of interstellar dust heated by enormous collisions. In one region, you can even spot a supermassive black hole actively feeding, surrounded by glowing material moving at near light speeds. With Hubble and other telescopes, we saw parts of this. 
but with JWST, the drama becomes fully visible. It's a preview of our own galaxy's future. In a few billion years, the Milky Way might collide with its neighbor Andromeda. If Stefan's Quintet shows us galaxies in the middle of a collision, the Cartwheel Galaxy reveals what happens after the impact. Once a typical spiral galaxy, it was forever changed by a head-on encounter with a smaller intruder galaxy. The collision sent powerful shockwaves rippling outward, reorganizing stars, gas, and dust into its now iconic ringed shape. JWST's infrared view reveals the galaxy's structure in stunning detail. The glowing red outer ring is packed with newly formed stars, evidence of how the collision reshaped the galaxy. Toward the center, faint filaments and radial spokes stretch across the core like the inner workings of a clock, exposing the complex gravitational forces at play. It's a galaxy frozen in a rare moment, neither spiral nor elliptical, but something in between. From a galaxy in transformation, we turn to something quieter, but no less beautiful. This is RXJ1131-1231, a quasar located about 6 billion light years away. At first glance, it looks like a glowing ring in the sky, a strange circular structure with several bright points clustered near the top. But this shape isn't real, it's the result of gravitational lensing. A massive galaxy in front of the quasar is warping space itself, bending the light coming from behind it. That distortion creates this Einstein ring and those bright spots near the top. They're multiple images of the same quasar, duplicated by the lensing effect. In the center sits the elliptical galaxy responsible for the distortion, a small blue dot doing the bending. Webb's mid-infrared instrument captured this view to help scientists study dark matter and the environments near supermassive black holes. But not every Webb image looks outward. Some point inward, at the telescope itself. Yes, even JWST took a selfie. This unique image was captured using Webb's Enercam alignment sensor early in the mission. It shows a segment of the telescope's primary mirror reflecting sunlight, one of the 18 gold-coated hexagons that make up its massive 6.5-meter dish. At first, each mirror segment was misaligned, reflecting a different part of the sky, but over weeks of careful calibration, engineers adjusted them into perfect harmony. The selfie isn't just for show, it's proof that the telescope's optics were working exactly as planned. From aligning its own mirrors to peering over 13.6 billion years into the past, JWST has taken us closer to the edge of the observable universe than ever before. But how long will it hold that title? And what comes next? Launched with enough fuel for at least 10 years of operation, JWST was so precisely sent into space that estimates now suggest it could operate for 20 years or more. That's two decades of observing galaxies, stars, planets, and perhaps even signs of life. But even as Webb explores the universe, astronomers are already planning the next generation. One of the most anticipated is the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, set to launch later this decade. It will have a field of view 100 times larger than Hubble's and will study dark energy, exoplanets, and cosmic structure on a grand scale. Further ahead is Louvoir, a proposed giant space observatory that could image Earth-like planets directly, searching for biosignatures. And there's also Habex, designed specifically to find habitable worlds around nearby stars. These future missions won't replace JWST, they'll build on it. Together, they represent the next steps in humanity's journey to understand the cosmos.